Hello, my name is Dr. Ike Flock. I'm the co-director of emergency ultrasound at the University of Florida. Today we're going to be looking at how to obtain a left ventricular long axis view. That's one of the most useful and comprehensive views of the heart. It helps to place the patient in a left lateral decubitus position, otherwise certainly performing it in a supine position is fine. The transducer is placed in the 4th to 5th intercostal space with the transducer indicator pointing towards the right shoulder. We rock, fan, and rotate the transducer until we've optimized our image. Now we have an optimal left ventricular long axis view. We know this because the left ventricular cavity is well visualized, including both the mitral and the aortic valve. The review of the anatomy shows the right ventricle most anterior, the left ventricle the large muscular chamber, connecting of course to the left atrium via the mitral valve, as well as the aortic outflow tract to the aortic valve. The pericardial space is located here anteriorly, wraps around the apex, and again located here posteriorly, moving anterior of the descending aorta.